previously on Elements Asunder, party, having tracked down what is likely the wizard's location to a single tower underneath the t that led underneath the town, they began exploring and traveling through, finding a number more of those elemental imp creatures, along with some other, well, other elemental creatures as well. Uh, after a not too bad fight with a weird mi wine creature, they were hesitant but moved in and got rid of some fire snakes before Gelthuk triggered a living carpet. It did not go well for him. In response, once they defeated that carpet, they checked all the other rooms surrounding them only to find that three of them had carpets, and the fourth, a number of enemies as well. Ignoring the enemy one, Galthuk decided to poke the bear, or carpet in this case, and shoot fire at each of the carpets to see if they were alive, not thinking to maybe back away from the door, causing him to be captured again, and quite a bit of damage to come out of another carpet fight. The party, having killed their new nemesis, now proceeds to finish up a short rest and decide on where they want to go. I'm just saying, I really feel like the MVP in that last fight. I really feel like I don't like carpets anymore. I really For feel sure like I got stabbed. For sure I said I was sorry. Oh, yes, I, I forgot to mention during the fight, uh, Affy also stabbed Forte right through the chest. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Do you want to punch me in the face or something to make me myself feel better? Can I volunteer? No. I didn't stab you. Can I insight to see that's a good idea? That's not an insight check. Insight check would be checking whether or not Affy is being real with you that they are okay no, with No, I'm being real. Them. I feel really bad. You can punch me in the face if you want. It's an invitation. It's an invitation. I, Affy, I examine... Affy I opens examine. Her, opens his arms and closes his eyes stepping forward, ready to be punched. I examine Affy. And I tell him I punch you in the face. You don't think you're going to make it out of here. Find a scrawny pal. Get me a pint later. Can I get you two pints later? No, you're talking. So, if you're drinking and drinking mine, not to that swirl from the bartender. Oh, and you owe that one to drink too. Hmm. There you go. Which okay, direction fine. is the party taking of the four? Let's uh let's examine the room let's examine the room that has that doesn't have carpet anymore. Yeah. Good call. Okay. Galthuk. You enter the room that once had your nemesis in it. Make a perception check. Anyone that's investigating it make a perception check? Galthuk's just... the only one that entered. No. Oh, that would be Why are you guys letting me go in by myself? <laughs> My cab crashed. This is <laughs> It's a fairly no, plain room. Weird. Okay. Yeah, I thought it, nothing appears to be in here. There was the carpet, but that's about it. Uh, hey guys, uh, right looks like uh, it looks like it's a bit empty now. The only thing that was there was the carpet. Honestly, it looks like uh, it almost looks like it's missing something. Something could tie this empty room together. Maybe something covering the ground. Nice pattern made out of uh, made out of cloth. Ah, I ran away. Not quite coming to you. A skin line. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Leo, you, you see a room with a carpet and a door at the other end. 
Shout out to, to the fellow group. There's a door over here, I believe. And I believe there's like some organ music playing in the background. He says as he plays organ music through his bagpipes somehow. Don't tell them <laughs> that part. Is he playing music right now? Uh, I mean, if I he's saying there's music, the only place it would come from is him. I think he's talking about the music that's from. Yes, I know. No, 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 I'm. Try and stay in character, guys. Um, I guess I'll go to the left and see what I can see. Perception, I guess we're doing. Yep. Damn. It's a fairly plain room with a pair of wooden double doors on the other side. Uh, Carpet below with a small burn mark where Galfuck assaulted it. I call over Effie. I'm like, hey pal, come here. Okay. You hear anything behind that door? Uh, that points to the wooden door. Okay. I kind of squint over it. And... It is a door. I mean, yes. And I sort of, like, press my ear against it. Listen. Make a perception. God fucking damn it, Max. Stop messaging me. Uh, perception check. At 20, damn. Yeah. Oh, Never natural side, 20. You hear what sounds like clinking. Something sort of similar to the noise you heard in the first main room of this dungeon. Okay. To clarify the imps or like the literal first room. The room with the imps. You hear, okay. like, clinking and moving, some shuffling. Hmm. Though it seems much fainter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call out. Hey, Vesterin, get your butt over here and check out this door. You're gonna yell that out. Yeah? No. <laughs> Shit. You whisper no, it no, loudly. No, no, fine, not yell. I'm, I'm calling over Vesterin, who's, like, right, right next to me. Or okay. I'm just hallway. saying, from now careful. on, yeah, you, you have had several warnings, specifically, JJ. If you say you are doing something, <laughs> it will be done from now on. Do it. Do it. All right, what are you doing, Vesman? I will take a look at the door. All right. Are you trying to listen to the other side? Mm-hmm. Go up to the door and make a perception check. Okay. I believe, yeah. So here... Oh, you don't hear anything. I don't seem to hear anything behind this one. Hmm. Um, does Affy inform you... me what they heard? I'm gonna That's move forward. Question. I warn him when I hear it. Galfuck, there is a stone wall in front of you. Mm, nice stone wall. I'm gonna turn around. Myers wall. <laughs> I mean, dwarves do like rocks. I do. Sure. I love Let me rocks. Go to the hallway and and just tell Forte um, about the other room. All right. I tell JJ. I, I assume we're all in the. I assume we all moved into the hall, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I notify what F. I I let Affy give his report. All right. I give my report, and then I ask the question. Which room should we go into first? Because there's the one right over there that definitely has at least one imp that we just didn't go into yet that we should go into. We have this other room that definitely has at least something in there. So, what's the best call of option? Remind me, what's the story with over here? Is this just a wall? There's no. at least one thing in there, but there's most definitely Happy more. Happy peeked through the door to the north and saw that there was at least one creature. And it's just oh, that's the door. The door. Okay. Door over here, yes. So, we know that there is activity to the left, we know there's activity up north. But there does not seem to be activity to the right. At least not that we know of. There could be another carpet. 
or another trap. I say... Here, we can take this... We can take... I'm still, like, talking quietly. We can take this globe, which is about 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet in diameter. Looks about to be 5 Maybe by 5, right? Yeah, about. We can, we can take this globe and block off one of these entrances. So if, if anything chases us from there, at least it'll be obstructed. Uh, uh just to, just to double check something, uh, aren't globes normally empty on the inside and kind of light? Well, I don't hey. know if he's this one. What, wouldn't it be better if, if we took the tables? What tables? In the, other room? the ones in the other room. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I will... Actually, you probably would be able to move the tables if you both picked it up. Uh, who's moving the tables? Uh, um, I would. Well, first let's just well. decide. Are we going? Are we going north, west, or east? Well, we heard some movement east, above us. Hmm? We heard movement above us, so maybe we should clear the uh, the quiet ones first. Do you think I we should move the tables first? That. Let's move Let's the table bring... first and go to the room that's quiet, yeah. Well, if we bring the table too close to the door, they might hear that. Let's bring the table into this room quietly and put on... You know what? No, let's just go exploring first. Quietly. We can, we'll send in the rogue. Okay. Where is the rogue being sent in? To the quiet room. To take a peek inside. Okay. So I go into the quiet room, and no, that that is that is a wall. You're inside the wall right now. Okay. So where's the one quiet room? Higher. Over here. One, then over here. Ah, thank you. My mistake. And I crack the door open and peek. Okay. Make a stealth check. Stealth. stealth. Will you all be in here? That's up to I'll you. Be in the yes. Corner, yeah. I'll be. I'll be right, mm -hmm. right near you guys. You slowly begin to crack the door open. Right. Those are the walls. You two are in the wall. Yes, you do. Not want to be. See a very large, empty-looking room. Mm -hmm. you, are you cracking it open more? Um, I crack it open a little bit more. Crack it open more, and you see. Oh my god! The room appears to be empty. As you crack it open more and more, you notice. The walls appear to be lined with statues and armor, with a large carpet to the north, and a less large one to the south, and what looks to be a board of some type. Okay. Is there anything written on the board? You can't see from here. Mm. We found the boss battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the statues... Do they look like the normal statue variety, or do they look like the come-to-life-and-attack-you variety? They look very similar to the statues you found in the church earlier. That's a lot. Okay, let's save this for later, I think. Maybe. What's the best call action? Should we just to, to win, or is that a suicide attack? Did you let us know what you see? Yeah, I kind of like turn around and like whisper it to you guys. All right, see can a large I... room. Oh, go. Can I, can I step up? Uh, can we? Can you move over for a moment? Let me take a look. Right. And I wanna, I wanna kind of like peek in there as well. Make a stealth check. Oh, it's he's not opening the door though. He's peeking in. He's still moving around and trying to act stealthily. I guess, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Gelfuck moves up, his armor clinking loudly, making each of you flinch 
as each step, as he peeks slowly through the door, it opening under his less than subtle touch. And he sees the same thing. Large, seemingly unpopulated room with a number of armor stands to the east and a number of statues to the north. Small-ish carpet in front of what looks to be two doors to the south and a much bigger carpet to the very north. I close with what appears to be a board of some type. I close my eyes. I say with Morgan's love, let me see. And I, you see in the back of my eyelids, they kind of glow. Um, so you can see kind of like the, the vibrance of, of magical, uh, uh, essence coming from my eyes, but it's not seen from a distance. Um, from and essentially, I'm I'm casting uh, threw detect me off. Magic. I had, yeah, detect magic. Threw me. What I is was, the range on detect magic? Uh, detect magic is, and I think it goes. Does it go further because I have sharpshooter or the uh magical thing of sharpshooter spell uh, sniper yeah there you go spell sniper uh, i don't believe spell sniper affects that but let me check just let me know the normal distance first normal distance is 30 feet But at least be able to see the carpets, whatever this thing is. Cast spell requires you to make. No, you have to make an attack roll. Okay. A spell sniper. So I want to see if the carpets are magical. <laughs> um, you do not notice any magical essence from the carpets. You do, on the other hand, notice on the board and the door seem to be having some magical effects oh so I, I as i learn that information and see the glowing from the door you're talking about the door that we're in front of right now this one no the the, the door here oh the door right there uh, I, okay. I i look back and i whisper and there's a magical essence on the door and on the there's a board that's in the middle of the uh the walkway inside the room it also has like a, a magical glow to it. Could be a trap. Oh, this is definitely a trap. Or an alarm of some sort, it seems. I would say we'd fare better in another room and then come back to this one later. Um, I assume we get the brief on everything? Yep. I think this is a good call. So where are you going to go? We are going to kind of saunter <laughs> over here, not run, but I'd like to, I'd like to now see if, uh, Alfie, can you come check okay. this room over here? My laptop is being unique. I'm yeah, tired. my laptop has decided not to cooperate with me on this lovely evening. Where did you go? I'm glad that was the case. Otherwise, otherwise Doc could have actually triggered the alarm. Just assume that I'm in the room, but I have disassociated. Okay. I, I think you're either in the darkness or you delete yourself. Uh, she appears to have myself. deleted herself. Alfie has shows not to. Yeah, you see, anymore. I'm I'm right there. I've been there the whole time. <laughs> okay. So, Alfie. Yes. You're going to attempt to sneakily open the door. Yeah. Okay. Which door? There's two. 
Um, the one there. Oh, uh, oh. No, no, it's a double door. The oh. safer of the two. There is a double I door mean, set right here. I mean, I'm guessing it's going to have, like, the same effect if it's double doors. Probably. Uh, I think about it. If... eyes still glowing. Hmm? Yes, they should the still Gothic's... be glowing. Do you sense anything? You do not. Not on That's... these doors, at least. I can only handle. I can only hold this for a little bit longer. So, please let's let's try to see what's in this room real fast, so that we can get a lay of the land. All right. Um, I take the safely left door and crack it open. And okay, make a stealth check and put yourself in front of the door, please. All right. So right here. Oh, that's the wall? That, you just moved into the wall. Oh, here, my bad. Okay. Okay. So Self-check. Self-check. You'll see Affy with an odd grace that doesn't seem to fit his personality, considering... Well, that's what happened to the other Affy. Oh. What happened to the Affy? They got it's a mirage, you have to kill my clone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing double this entire time. <laughs> uh, you crack the door open a tiny bit, and you peek in, and you see, at first, not very much, just a little bit of an empty room. Crack it a bit more, you start to see a little bit more. A table, and a bit more, you see light coming from a brazier in this part of the room, with what looks to be a red variant of those creatures, seeming to be working on some potions of some type as well. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can see? Not with just cracking the door open, you would have to take a big risk opening it more. Oh, okay. Um, Assuming we have yet to be detected. Yes. So before I decide to make that call, I kind of like Turn around. I whisper my findings to everybody. Here, let me let me look closer. Just a little bit. I raise uh, it, out my hand. I mean, it's okay. I raise out my hand and it. attempt to block him. It's Who's okay. I, just I can grab do it. You. I can do no, it. No, no. I I just grab for grab Cray so he doesn't move any closer. Delta. Okay. okay. Delta. I I. Delta. I will. Uh... Okay. Don't worry. I'm not covered in armor. I can sneak it over a bit more. And with that, I do crack the door open more. Make another stealth check, then. Because now oh. you're getting a little bit riskier. Alright, stealth check. Okay. Okay. You open it a bit more, and you don't seem to see anything. Mm -hmm. Are you going to continue opening it? How much of the room is there left for me to look at? It's a very good question. <laughs> oh, it's a big room. Possibilities are endless. Uh-huh. Okay. So there's only one creature so far, but there could be a lot more in the corner just waiting for us. Uh... Alright. So... I ready my dagger and my rapier, just in case, and I very carefully, very slowly, just push the door open a bit more so I can just peek as much as I can without, like, notifying whatever is in there. Make one more stealth check with disadvantage. Okay. The DC is getting higher each time, by the way. Yes. Hence the preparation. Oh. Uh-huh. You open the door more. Mm -hmm. And as you do, you see... One second, let me reveal the area. A large stone gargoyle staring you directly in the face. It kicks the door right closed in your face. 
you take six budgeting damage. No and then I need react. everyone to roll initiative. No chance to react? It saw her before. Uh, okay. Uh. Damn it. I forgot to send us the roll tracker. Sorry. I had the uh, ruler on. Uh, was this my revenge for not getting punched in the face earlier? What is your revenge? I wouldn't say revenge. I this mean, is what happens when you open a door to the point where Karma is caught up to me and I did get smacked in the face. But I didn't die from it. It just so, hurts a lot. Affy. Yes. Having the door kicked closed in your face, your nose is bleeding some and your hand is a bit sore. Yes. You're first. I mean, I'm right there. Yep. All right. So, okay, so th with the other door, I... Oh, by the way, this is what's looking at you. Hideous. All right, so... I it's only a mother can other... love. I go to the other door, kind of like slide past, shove it open, and I do my one-two combo. You will have to walk out into the main room if you're going to do that. Uh, so... You can't really stab around a door so effectively. You could try, but then yeah. I'd probably... I would give Good the point. creature point. cover. Because the thing is, I'm not very strong. If I was very strong, I would just kick the door back into, into its, its face. face. Hmm. Uh... By the way, Forte, you're on deck. All right, mm -hmm. so I kind of just, like, open the other door up and prepare myself and use dodge. Is opening a door an action? Yes, it would be. Yeah, so I kind of, like, shoulder open the other door for everyone else to get in. I write myself and I uh, use dodge. The dodge action. As yeah. your bonus action, I assume. Yes. Okay. Forte, you're up. I would like to kick this door. Make a strength check. Not athletics? You know, I'll allow athletics. Sweet. With all my might. Can I can I hold on to him real quick before he does that? <laughs> nope. It's not your turn. <laughs> so you just uh, eat him into the wall. You just kick the wooden door to pieces directly in the stone gargoyle's face. Roll damage on a, I would say, a normal bludgeoning attack. Sweet. Um, bam. Wait, I have to just do that. Yeah, cool. damage. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna hit. As my bonus action, I would like to grapple. Okay. The you see a four-armed stone gargoyle in your face, and you proceed to grapple it. Uh, roll your athletics. It is stunned by the door and just grappled by you immediately. Um, now I'd like to forcefully move it forward. So, I walk in, he looks, he's moved, he's moved to the left now. So, mm -hmm. he's here. What do I see? Uh, let me see. That'd be okay. 5 to 15. What do I see? You see a second magma method along with another gargoyle. This one's smaller. It's more similar to the ones you've seen before. Looking somewhat confused at this sudden noise. Um... I... I show... That I, I look at Galthuk. I look at the rest of my party with uh, my free hand. And I show the number four. As I have more movement, so I will move down here. Oh, and also uh, say support me as I move down here. Do I do I understand what he's saying? Uh, like when he put that four up. Intelligence check. I'll I'll join him on that actually, as it was directed towards me too. Straight up intelligence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, probably should. 
Oh, that's a save, not a check, right? Is it a, supposed to be a yeah, save or a check? It's, a, it's the same. It's supposed to be a okay. check. But I, I think you can whisper it too. Uh, talk, yeah. Talking is a free action. Yeah. Vestrin, you understand. Affy, roll an intelligence check. Roll an intelligence check. Because that I forgot, in, forgot how to count. Well, no, I you just need not. to know what he's saying for about. I did not forget how to count. Vesrin and Affy, you immediately recognize this as him trying to, in a subtle way, inform you of how many enemies there are. Galfuck and Leroy, you guys kind of just exchange glances, wondering what I, the fuck no, he's doing. No, when he, when he did that, I just, I, I waved back, and I'm like, hi. <laughs> he want four shots. As I move down here, <laughs> hold, I, as I move, yeah, down here, holding the star, stone gargoyle in front of the other gargoyle. Do you have enough movement left? This would have been, yes, this would be 5, five 15, you grabbed him, 15, 25. This would be 25 okay. here. Yep. Okay. And I also did say support. Looking directly at Galfuck in the eyes. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I get you. What is your dex modifier? Three. Okay, yeah, Vestrin, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna go five ten fifteen. Gonna survey the area and notice that there's one alone. I'm gonna move another five fifteen. Use all the rest of my movements. And I'm going to look at this nerd right here. That's being held. I'm gonna throw some fire at him. At the one being held? Yep. Okay. Right in the back of his head. That hits. Roll damage. Oh, fuck. That is eight damage. As you blast flame onto him. Seems to char and burn the stone. Is that your turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. The four-armed gargoyle is going to struggle and make three attacks on the only person he could reach at this point. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I fucked up. Uh, so he is going to bite into you first. Does an 18 hit? It does. You take three piercing damage. Okay. And then he's going to claw at you twice. Does an 18 hit? It does. You take three slashing. Okay. Does a 14 hit? It does not. You take zero. So six damage altogether. Uh, okay. The magma methods going to be a little bit panicked. Uh, this one's going to claw at you, actually. No, this one is... This one up here, actually, is going to take a step back. Are you going to do attack of opportunity? Forte? I need to think on that. Um... It's trying to book it. Uh, I... It's trying to move away. I will punch it, yeah. Okay, make your attack. That hits, roll damage. As you just clock it in the face. Can I swing the stone golem at him? <laughs> I would say no. It's a pretty big... Fine, I, I, can I, uh, like... Use my foot to like kind of like try to kick him, I guess. Yeah, you kick him okay. as he begins to move away. Um, the one up here is going to cast heat metal on you. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, and he is going to begin to heat the armor around your arms. I need you to make a well. Actually, you don't even get a Constitution saving throw. You take eight fire damage. Mm-hmm. 
as this method is going to begin doing something to the fire. Right here. This gargoyle is up, and he's going to move up here to Vesrin. And he is going to make a bite and a claw attack. Vesrin does a 5 hit! No. Does a 23 hit. Yeah. You take 7 slashing as you dodge its bite, but are unable to avoid its claws. Good. Leroy, you're up. Hello, I got a big... Yell fuck in the way, don't I? Mm, I mean, he's short. Are you saying I can hop over him with with same movement? I'm saying, you, yeah, you could go around him. He doesn't take up five feet. If okay. there was another person right next to him, it would be harder. But I can, I can also... I can step aside to allow you in. Yeah, as is, you can just kind of move Yeah. Around. Oh, fine, fine. Uh... Yeah, let's do that then. I'm going to move my way in to about right here, I guess. Because I had no idea what Forte meant with the whole four thing. I kind of just look around and just go with it. Great big, oh, that's what you meant. So what do you want to note, do? I just asked Forte, how are you doing over there? No, I I point over to that to that uh, Baphomet up top, and I'm like, this guy needs to go now. I am on this guy. Uh, make, this guy's burning me alive. You see, his sweating. armor is red hot right now. This guy needs to die. This can you shall receive, sir. Let's go with. Hmm. Let's go with some good old vicious mockery. Okay. What do you say to the method? Well, considering he's trying to light my friend on fire, I'm just going to tell him he needs to really cool the hell off. It gives you a look, and then kind of looks slightly sad, as you do two psychic damage to it. That's it does not drop concentration, though. Okay. I, asked Leroy to, I also asked Leroy to move out of the way. I do still have movement left, so I'll, I'll grant that wish. Let's move right over here. To that note, I will also say I'm dropping my backpacks. Okay. That's my turn. Galthuk. All right, uh, making my way in, I kind of noticed the, uh, oh, oh, okay, I get it, uh, notion of everything, and then, uh, I, I'm going to cast a uh, spiritual weapon uh, about right here. Like okay. Can I draw? I can draw. Yeah, you can draw. Uh, you know what? I can do it right. Um, and then uh, that's a bonus action. And then I'm going to go you ahead and attack, attack with it. I'm gonna go ahead and attack with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. I'll go ahead and attack yeah, with it. Mm -hmm. That most certainly hits. <laughs> nice. Full damage. Is it level two? Mm-hmm. Okay. As you bash into it hard, you see a good chunk of lava blast off of it, landing on the table behind it, and beginning to burn slightly. Um, and with that, Forte, you begin to feel your armor cool down. Thanks. Oh, no problem, As with friend. With my free hand. With my free hand, I wipe some sweat off my head. Is that your turn, Galtuck? You still have an action. Uh, then with my action, I, I see I see that Forte is like where right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and. I. Uh, 
Um, if you look at me, I'm like gesturing over to the document in the bottom. Uh, gesturing at the which one at the bottom? Oh. This one, yeah. Oh, down here. He's up to he's up to something. Okay. Uh, with my with my shield in hand and my. My my warhammer. I'm gonna let's see. Here, five ten. I don't know. Uh, can I? I can move through this space right here. Cause he's um, he's medium. Fifteen. As a reminder, 20? you can't cast a cantrip. I would say that will cost double movement because technically speaking, he does he's have grappling. The That's right. Space also. I as a reminder, you can cast a cantrip. You can cast a cantrip as well, yes. Okay, then uh, looking at him, though, I would look at that and say to myself, uh, but he looks like he's made of fire. I don't think this is going to... Sacred Flame is not fire. Sacred Flame is radiant damage. That's correct. Okay. As you call down your god's wrath, you deal <laughs> a small little beam of light hits the magma method, which seems more confused than injured, but... He saved my beast from being cooked. <laughs> Did I piss him, on, piss on, uh, piss him on off to uh, attack me next? Potentially. Oh, Effie, yeah. you're up. All right, first things first, I run into the room, and I look around, and I see kind of, like, the one in the very right and of the room, like, over... Yeah, the very right of the room is mostly isolated. Everyone's kind of focused on the bottom half of the room, understandably. And so my course of action is I kind of sprint over there, up to it, and I slash at it with the rapier. And I stab at it with my dagger. Okay. Roll your attacks. Sure thing. Just one moment. And additionally, I believe I got sneak attack. You Maybe, would. I think. Yes, that hits. Okay, so... Roll damage attack. sneak attack. And I'll sneak attack. Yep. Damn. And, and the then I also... Well, no, you don't need to do the dagger attack. As you stab oh. into it, it explodes into lava. I need you to make a deck save. Yoki. Eh. Uh, you actually do make it and successfully avoid most of it, only taking four fire damage as it does singe your arm a bit. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Um... Four jack. Noticing that the dude's doing something suspicious below me, I lost the whole. Oh, well, first of all, pummel. Okay. Uh, I can do that at the beginning of, of each of my turns. So an yep. enemy, I'm grappled. You punch it. It is made of stone, though, so it's not doing very much. Um. So this guy is doing something suspicious with the fire, right? Yep. He seems I'm... to be reaching into it. I move down, also moving down this guy. Does, does this guy's weight body like tip over the cauldron or whatever that is? Uh, no. It's not a cauldron. It is a uh, fire pit, essentially. Well, I'm Over's holding here. him basically over the fire pit. Okay. Um, As I proceed to punch this dude in the bottom. Okay. Roll your attack. That hits. As you punch into him, um... You know, uh, as you well, punch him, more kick. Damage. I kick, kick. Okay, uh, you kick into him. He is hurt by it, but he is still going. Uh, how's he looking? Very injured. I will action surge. Okay. And proceed to try to kick him again. Okay. Will your attack? 
that misses as he dodges out of the way this time. Is that your turn? Yeah, nimble fella. The gargoyle is going to... Wait, did... Oh, yeah, I did have the other one do something. Uh, Form gargoyle is going to bite at you. There's a nine hit. No. There's a 24 hit. It does. As he slashes at you with his claws, dealing five slashing damage on a crit. Uh, to the guy below him. As he slashes at you, you make a cloud of mist appear in front of you. Another one appearing in front of the magma sprite, and the claws slash through, appearing, and destroying the magma sprite. Both you and him look at uh, you and the gargoyle look at each other, and then the sprite, as it explodes. <laughs> I need you to make a deck save. Would you have disadvantage? No, you wouldn't have disadvantage. He would, though. Well, you both fail. Natural. Fine. You're both just splattered by fire. <laughs> Love it. As you are both splattered and take 10 fire damage. As you are both hit with lava. I can use some healing. You do also notice something beginning to stir from within the fire pit. As a fiery hand. Oh, I wasn't able to stop it. Damn. You were not. Leroy, you're up. I could use some. I could use a helping hand here. You say you saying that one out loud? Yep. <sighs> okay. Cool. Hmm. Might as well burn it. I'm gonna look towards uh, Forte and just cast cast a good old healing word. Help help him remember the Lord's words. What do you say I'll to punch him? first? Okay. Is that your Thanks. turn? Ah, power of music. Thanks. Thanks, pal. There you go. With that in mind, I also use my. Uh, with that in mind, I'm also going to use my my uh, range of movement to move next to Vesseran to help deal with the uh, smaller golem. And with my bonus action, I'm going to ready attack. You can still cast. You can still cast on a. a... Oh, you're going to ready attack. Okay. Yep. What is the trigger for the attack? Can the trigger be that uh, as a counterattack? What do you mean by that? I'm assuming he's going to start slashing at me. Potentially. Oh, yeah, he could uh, also... that, that's my trigger. So if he attacks you, you will attack back? Yes. Okay. The gargoyle, having not been bugged at you by you at all, is instead going to attack <laughs> the person next to you. Vestrin does a 14 hit. Uh, no. Does a 19 hit. Yes. As again, you're able to dodge its bite, but not its claws. You take four slashing damage that rakes across you. The living burning hand is now going to move up here. And it is going to let out a burst of fire. I need both of you to make a deck save. Oh, quick question. Oh. JJ. Did I ever get a second turn? You did, did not. not. You did not. How did that? we miss that? I, I, don't I know. apologize. Before yeah. that happens, you 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 got this. <laughs> oh, okay, sweet. Uh, I apologize for that. I do not know how chill. I missed that. I don't know how I missed that either. <laughs> I was just going with the flow. Um. All right. So I am going to. Look at this guy right in front of me and be like, it wasn't very nice of you. And I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Okay. Uh, it needs to make a deck save as you just blast fire into it, blocking it between the wall. Yep. Uh, what is your DC? Uh, 
14? 14. Yeah, roll a 13. As you just blast in the face, it takes the full force of your burning hands, dealing 8 damage. And... They'll call it there. Okay. Now, the living burning hands is going to move up, and I need both of you to make deck saves. Fair enough. As well as the gargoyle. So, let me double check what the DC is. Vesrin, you take 14 fire damage, as does the gargoyle. JJ, you take 7 fire damage. Would this not also trigger my, uh, my action? No, you specifically were holding your attack if the gargoyle attacked you. Oh, farf. I don't know why you didn't just attack it, but okay. Uh, that is the Living Burning Hand's turn. Galthuk, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna take my bonus action, uh, move this closer to the Burning Hands. How, what's the distance you can move it? Oh, wait, it's 20 feet. Yeah, you could get it over here to hit the gargoyle, but you can't get it to the burning hands. Looks good to me then. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna try to smash. I assume attack it. Yeah. That actually misses. Oh. As it goes a little bit wide, the hammer of your god. Okay, and then uh, I should right over its head. Be able to move forward here, and then I still be able to attack this thing, right? Mm-hmm. All right, using my warhammer, I'm gonna go ahead and my shield and play as well. Uh, I'm gonna take a swing at it. That does Ooh. hit. As you smack into it with your Warhammer, it does seem to make the creature phase slightly, but it doesn't see it, it's literally a living thing of fire. It doesn't seem to be that injured by the bludgeoning. That would end my turn. Okay. Affy, you're up. Alright, so question. If I was to kind of put my bow and arrow like back and take out my well actually no. Alright, let's switch around. If I was to put the rapier and the dagger back and then take out the bow and arrow, would that count as one turn? Or that would be one things? action, yes. Okay. You, drop them. What's you up? could also drop them. You could drop your dagger and your rapier and pull out your bow for free. Okay, plan B. Once again, I drop the stuff, take out the bow and arrow, and I aim for the which one to two is closer? One moment. Hold and click on it. Okay, so hold and click. All right, so I aim for this guy over here, the ugly guy, and I shoot. Isn't there a barrel or something in the way? Is there? Is there? No. The 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 statue that that represented the okay, statue yeah. that the gargoyle became or was. Okay. So will you attack? Alright. You have to declare it. She wants to declare something. Yeah. What are I you thought declaring? It was like, I thought it's a bonus action. It is. Okay. Also it's bonus order, action. The order uh, you do it matters. I use um, cunning action aim. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go shoot now. Pew. That hits? She does that with advantage. Yep, it 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 hits. I mean, it's pretty much the same. Potato, potato. And roll sneak attack. It's it's good. It's good. Okay, now sneak attack. Pew. That is sixteen altogether. As you snipe into it, the arrow just buries itself deep into the creature's shoulder. 
It looks Yay. over at you, annoyed. Is that your turn, Affy? Uh, can I do another cunning action aim, or no? That... that was a bonus action. Ah. Uh, um. Can I ready another arrow? No, that was readying an arrow and firing is an attack slash action in itself. Okay. Can I move okay. by any chance or no? You can, yeah. All right. I kind of move around here-ish. So a bit closer if I wanted a bit farther away from the fire, because I've seen that first fire thing, and I do not want to risk the other one. Forte. Uh, first things first, I pummel this guy. Okay. How's Outercast, how's he looking? He's been hit a good bit. All but right. Not on the edge. And am I by chance holding over the fire? Uh, close to, but not over. Can I put him? Can I move him over the fire or no? Or to be like? Uh, I would say I that would be an action to try and push him into the fire. Gotcha. Okay. So, and and you said he's looking pretty good still, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to. Tend to shove him on the ground. Okay. You're going to shove him prone? Yep, shove him prone. He rolled a 12. Hey. It is shoved prone. So, like, through a struggle, like, I do manage to get him prone and pinned. Mm -hmm. As I just, like, like, <sighs> second win, I, like, let a sigh of relief. Is that your turn? Yep, just healing myself real quick. Best one. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to move. I wouldn't have any issues moving right here, would I? Mm, no. No? Okay. Cool. Then I'm going to move right here, and I am going to summon the cat. Right okay. here. Not there, that's my bagpipes. Deck safe. Yep. In which it fails. Sweet. There's damage. Okay. As it appears, you'll hear a soft <laughs> as the bagpipes are lit a flame. Dang it, Veseran. You owe me new pipes. <laughs> as is the gargoyle. Bagpipes in the middle of a freaking battlefield. You're hey. buying me new pipes. <laughs> I am going to have this lad move down one and use fiery teleportation. Um, it's the cat is going to look at um, at uh, Leroy uh, for approval. Leroy, He's gonna you mutter, "You you owe me pipes," but yeah, I'm gonna agree. <laughs> the cat tilts its head a bit. <laughs> like, what are pipes? <laughs> what, what are you referring to? Alright. I'm gonna another, move the cat. Another deck save? Yep. Which it fails. Sweet. Wow, it doesn't actually do the attack? That's tragic. Alright. Plus three. Four damage. And where are you teleporting? Um, let's go... 5, 10, 15, right here. And then you can move all three of us at once. It's, e it's a little bit weird with the gargoyle there. Move there, yeah, that makes sense. And as you do, you hear again... <laughs> as whatever was left of the bagpipes is burst into flames. My pipes! <laughs> 
Your pipes, your pipes, they're singing. And I'm going to use the last bit of the cat's movement to move the cat right here. Okay. The forearm gargoyle is going to use half its movement to stand up. We can't. Oh, actually, you're right. It is completely, yeah. Um, <laughs> it has no movement. There's no movement. All right, it's going to bite you, which it misses. And it's going to attack. It, it's just flailing helplessly. Attempting to just slash at you, and you're dodging out of the way. Leroy. You hear the last song of your bagpipes playing. What do you do? What's that fire hand looking? Uh, it has barely been touched. So, to my understanding, it's ethereal and doesn't have physical form. Is that what I it understand of it? Appears to be made out of fire. Okay, fine. All right, a few things. First and foremost, uh, just confirming. Giving inspiration is not an action or anything, right? It's a bonus action. Cool. First and foremost, I'm burning my bonus action to give Bardic Inspiration towards Galthuk. Okay. I should do that. Galthuk, you have a Bardic Inspiration. Let's see, you see it. Oh, thanks. No problem. And because I am pissed and just want to stab at something close by, I'm just going to start looking at that golem. Pretty pretty handy that it's on the ground. I'm going to feel a little cheap stabbing straight straight because it's on the floor, but hey. Beautiful. <laughs> just going to stab at it. Okay, you stab at it with advantage. And your rapier just bounces right off. You're fucking kidding uh -huh. You rolled an 11. Better, but still. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay. Uh, the gargoyle, having every, anything keeping it where it was, kind of gone now, it's going to go over to the person that just shot it. Okay. And it's going to attempt to bite Affy. It's an 18 hit. Yeah. So it's going to fly up to you and it's going to bite directly in your arm dealing three piercing damage. And as you wind back in pain, it misses its slash. Mm. The burning hand rolls a nat one on that attempt to get its fire back. Um, and instead it's going to just punch at Galthuk. Galthuk does a 20 hit. Yes, yes, it does. Be happy it's not a crit, because if it had advantage, that would have been a crit. It deals eight fire damage, and it just punches you directly in the shoulder. You're up. Okay, I will move my sword here. Or my, my hammer, sorry. Hammer of the gods. And I will attack. Oh, shit. As you do, it seems your faith in your god may be swaying. Mm. As it again seems to miss entirely. You can add inspiration to that if you want. I can, but I don't know if it's good. I'll try. Uh, I it could be done at any time. Now that I said it missed. Hmm? Yeah, I can. It says you can wait until after the roll. Uh, the d20 before deciding to use the bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. But must decide before the DM says whether the roll uh, succeeds or fails. Gotcha. So, you will right. use it next time. You still have an action. Uh, I 
sacred flame on it. Okay, on the hand? Yes. Okay. Uh, somehow the hand is able to successfully and nimbly dodge away, despite not having eyes. Using its two first finger and its middle finger, it naturally pushes off to the left. <laughs> it does, before turning and seemingly flipping you off. That son of a bitch. Affy, you're up. Got it. Alright. I'm still a bit away from... And I do... I want to get closer without potentially getting attacked by the Hand of Doom. Um, Are the pipes burning? Oh yeah, they are on fire and basically just burnt out. Okay, so if I stand on them, I'm gonna catch fire. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, very potentially. Alright. So instead, kind of move to the side, like, here? Yeah, like here. Nate, ready another arrow. I As ain't... you walk away from the gargoyle, it does get a attack of opportunity. I mean, I can't, well, I'm, like, directly in its face, so I can't exactly, yeah. like, shoot it once, like... I mean, it misses anyways, it rolled an 8. Ah. In the future, though, you so could disengage move. from it. Yeah. In the future, you can use your bonus action to disengage. Got it. Alright. Um, so I ready my arrow, and I aim at it, and I fire. Okay, fire. You fire, and you miss as the arrow hits into its leg and just bounces off the stone. Plan B, I disengage. Mm, there's no reason to now. Oh, so you can't. You just use your bonus action to ready your arrow. Bruh. Okay. Wait, what? She said she readied her arrow. She had advantage on that attack. I don't think she can do that if she moves. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you do it's have like... your bonus action still. Then. Yes. And I disengage, so I do not get bitten you're again. You're already no, far enough away. You're already far enough away, you don't yeah. have to. Danielle, you Sorry. disengage before you move out of the enemy's attack range. Ah. You, can you can't dodge. use your bonus action to dodge, though. Then I use my bonus action to dodge. Okay. Forte! Alright, first things first, pummel. <laughs> and... As this, I see this guy is just flailing, I just punch him. Okay. That certainly hits. As you punch directly into the stone, your fists are starting to hurt some. But you are starting to see some cracks. I look at him and I'm like, believe me, pal. This hurts me way more than it hurts you. <laughs> Maybe not. Is that your turn? Yep. That's my turn. Uh, okay, Veswin, you're up. Um, how's this one looking? Which one? This one. Uh, it's starting to show cracks, but it's not terrible. Okay. Okay. Which would you say is in worse condition? This one or this one? Definitely the one up top. Definitely the one up top? Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to... Hmm. I think I'm going to cast... Horn Whip on this one. And here's that for you, so you can see it. Okay. Well, you have to make a melee spell attack. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. Is that one of the other ones that's messed up? Might be. Just roll me... Roll me... Uh... Normal spell attack, I guess. Do you have anything that preset that would be a spell attack? Uh, I believe this is. 
Yeah, that's a roll attack. Okay, yeah, that hits. Sweet. Uh, what type of damage is that? Here's uh, okay. Yes. All right. You're pulling it ten feet closer. Yep. Um, five. Okay. I guess ten. <laughs> okay. Is that your turn? Can you pass in two spaces where there's a spiritual weapon? Yeah. Just as like a question. Interesting. Yeah. No. Yeah. They're, they're usually floating above. That's why. Gotcha. And they're not. Okay. They're not actually five feet by five feet. They're fairly okay. small. That's good to know. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. The four-armed gargoyle is going to continue to struggle. Does a 15 hit? It does not. Does a 23 hit? That does. Does a 16 hit? Damn. 16 matches. Oh, wait. Disadvantage. Right, disadvantage. Uh, no, it, it misses all its attacks. Uh, that's its turn as it misses entirely. Leroy. What are you going to do with this poor creature's flailing? Mm. Flailing, you say? Out of curiosity. You're not going to like the result of that. Uh, you miss. Really? Yeah, yeah, you have disadvantage. Because close range? Technically speaking, you would have double disadvantage, because close range and because it's prone. I just want you to go through the statistics of that. Okay. Is that your uh, turn? Anyway, with... No. Well, most of it. With that in mind, I also use my, move, my movement to move to the hand is important here. Remind me, how is this guy watching? Fairly injured, actually. Alright, I'm gonna move. I don't think I want to pass Forte just yet. I'll actually be right here. Okay. The Gargoyle... ...is... ...fairly irritated being pulled away from its prey. Going to move over here. Kalfuck, do you want to take an attack of opportunity? Absolutely. Okay, roll your attack. All it is is just my hammer, right? Mm hmm. That just barely hits. Full damage. As you smash into it, it begins to show more and more cracks. That reaches out and is going to attack Vesrin with a bite and a claw. Vesrin does a 21 hit. Yeah. You take seven piercing and four slashing as it bites into you and then slashes across your chest. The burning hand is up next. Rolls a three. Uh, it's going to punch Galthuk again. As it just bounces off your armor. It flips you off again, Galfuck. I like this armor. And I... Uh, I kind of nod my head at the spiritual weapon to just hit this guy again. One second. The spiritual weapon hits. Sorry, which one were you aiming at again? The hand or... The hand. Okay. As you bash into it, it seems to spread and just barely come back together. Then uh, I'm going to cast a sacred flame again. Sacred Flame at the hand again? Yep. It, again, succeeds dodging out of the way. And then I flip it and off. It flips you off right back. That's a bonus action. Happy. He doesn't have one. 
What are you up to? <laughs> I get a bit closer, but not much. But a bit. And I shoot an arrow at the hand of flipping offiness. Okay. Roll your attack. That hits. And sneak attack. <laughs> How do you want to do this? I shoot the arrow into it, and it kind of fizzles away awkwardly. With its last form, it flips, it flips you off one off. last time, <laughs> Galthuk. <laughs> 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 Is that your turn, Affy? Yes, sir. Forte. I pummel it. Okay. It continues to crack slightly. And uh, how does it look? It has a number of cracks, but it doesn't seem to be... It, it. This is a fairly hardy creature. Okay. I will proceed to, like, bash him against the floor. Okay. The advantage. That hits. You are just slowly beating this thing to death. That's right. Good job. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna look at the boy right in front of me, who's just hit me a lot this time around, and go. So you want another? Got it. And he was burning hands again. Um. Okay. This should be just. It's 10 feet, right? Not 15? Yes, I believe so. It does make the save, though. Only taking half damage. That's good. As you do see the heat making the cracks grow exponentially and running throughout its body, it seems to be on its last legs. Alright, I'm going to use my bonus action. Oh. Nope, go ahead. Sorry. To uh, issue the cat an order to attack. Okay. Have the cat attack. Cat attacks. It does attack with disadvantage. And it misses anyways. Okay. The forearm gargoyle is going to attempt to break out of the grapple. And it rolled a five. Five. Here. Leroy. Leroy, you're up. Okay. So, being actively agitated as this goes on and on, zap, 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 zap. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Miss. Wow. <laughs> Shit rolls here. Wait, before I end my turn. Okay. Before I end my turn. Forte. Hmm? Forte, you're inspired. Hey. Thanks, pal. The gargoyle ne- is... Next one will be for you. ...going to attempt to attack Vesrin. Uh, Vesrin, a 7 misses, does 20 hit. Yes. As you are able to move away from its bite, its claw, flaming and hot, slashes across your face, dealing 7 slashing. Galtha. I look uh, half dead. You up? I got you, friend. And then I I move my uh my spiritual weapon right next to him, and what? I attack the uh, gargoyle with the advantage or the barbaric bar, uh, bardic fucking in- or whatever he gave me. Bardic inspiration. Yes, I'm gonna say that now. Twenty six. Okay. As you feel inspired, your hammer goes wide and misses the creature, smashing into the wall behind it. Or I'm just bad luck today. My Affy. god has forsaken me. Wait, can't I? I still move, right? I can still oh, move and do. I can still you do have... yeah, action. And an action, I apologize. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and smash him with my hammer, because I doubt somebody that's grappled and being held can get an advantage, right? Or attack of opportunity. Uh, they can, but it yeah. doesn't matter. At disadvantage, it is going to... Oh, wait, that's the wrong creature. It's going to attempt to claw at you and miss with a 10. Okay. 
As you see its claw, you just hear behind you its claws hit the stone and scratch pathetically. Mm-hmm. And then I'm uh, going to go ahead and... I got your bell. Well, shit. Your hammer nearly flies out of your hand, barely catching it, as the fact that you have been missing so much with your spiritual weapon is beginning to get to you. Not to mention the soreness from being crushed by carpets. My, my god has forsaken me. He was the god of carpets. And Sorry, Lord Carpet. You're up. We all know what time it is. It's shooting time. Pew. Oh. You miss. Great shot. You're supposed to declare your bonus action first. But you missed. You're learning. This arrow's going to you, mister. <laughs> Forte. Don't fuck with me. I pummel. Okay. <laughs> you pummel. Just like, just like death by a thousand cuts here. Pretty There's... much. <laughs> And I proceed to pummel some more. At this point, you're pretty sure your hands might be more bloody than no, his. I'm, at this point, I'm not punching. At this point, I'm just like lifting it up and slamming him as the floor. Okay, roll damage. <laughs> as it's still resistant to the bludgeoning, you continue to smash. Forte smash. <laughs> That's right. Oh, JJ. Right? Or... Oh, it's best sorry. Friend. It's best friend. scroll down for some reason. Alright. I am going to... have the cat... God. You know what? I'm just going to have to redo it with... Advantage, I think. I'm gonna cast Produce Flame. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Either way. As you do, it. it goes wide and catches the back of Affy's cape on fire. What do you mean it catches. What do you mean it catches the back of my cape on fire? It catches the back of your cape on fire. Fuck you. I bonus action. Going to have the cat uh, make an attack too. Okay, at disadvantage as well. Alright. Yes. Back. That misses. The cat could move away from the pinned gargoyle. Is that why it's getting disadvantage from if a prone gargoyle? If you are within melee range of an enemy, you have disadvantage. This is some sketchy ass rules, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Whatever. Okay. Are you gonna have your cat move at all? I mean, yeah. Fuck it. Okay. It already tried an attack of opportunity. It's go the form gargoyle is going to try and get away again. Roll your athletics. It is still stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy. <I'm going> <laughs> end, right. end this, please. <laughs> One just keeps on avoiding death, and the other slowly being beaten to show. Pulp. This time you're gonna get it with the rapier. Can I roll higher than a seven, please? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, that it. hits. Roll damage. You did technically roll higher than a seven. Yep. I, I, I just also forgot a what damage this even takes. There. God, as you stab into it. Poke into a crack a little bit. <laughs> God. Hang on, I'm not done. I'm not done. At this point, okay. at this point, I just cut my losses and move, like, move here. Okay. The gargoyle is going to attack Vestrin again. Does an 11 hit Vestrin? No. Does a 13? No. Okay. Galthok. Let's see if you can do any better with your hammer. Warden's lights. Please strike this foe. And then, yeah, spiritual weapon's going to try again. How do you want to do this? 
as you see the uh oh the light god. the light just emits brightly as my god had talked back to me saying that this is going to happen like and just fucking smashed it right into its back crushing its chest outwards towards Vesseran. stopping short of Vesseran though before hitting him but cloud of dust just pours all over him As you smash into it, the creature explodes into stone dust, shattering all over. And JJ, Vesrin, and Galthok are all covered in the dust. <laughs> they so, spit some uh, of it out. So, what are here? Still have an attack, by the way. Yep, and then... Fucking closer. I take a full, heavy swing with my, with my Warhammer. Okay. That misses. So, for expediency's sake... No. Oh, let's play this out. <laughs> we have to do this. Nope. Okay, fine. Affy! <laughs> yes. This is what you get for putting a creature like this in... During the dog pile. <laughs> what? During you the dog no arrow through Galthuk. <laughs> what do you want to okay. do? Pick up your rapier and throw into the dog pile. My bro, my rapier is all the way. Can I swear? Yes. Yes. Go for it. My fucking rapier is all the way on the other side of the room. Do you expect Affy, me? language? There's English. children here. Do you also. expect me to drop my shit? Just do a little trotty trot over there. Pick up my stabby stick. Trotty trot back here, and then attempt to stab a literal rock. Is yes. that what? Yep. Just shoot through Galthuk. You already did it once. I was you going can't. to shoot through Galthuk. Well, I wasn't going to shoot through him. I was going to shoot over him. Phrasing, you, I do not... Can't. He's prone on the ground. Phrasing, yes, please. To... Phrase. Yeah, no. I would say that the, you wouldn't. You cannot get a good shot at this creature right now. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, what if she aims, like, through his what legs? If, what if I go, what if, what like, if he's a goes dwarf? To the left? What if I go, like, over, like, here or something? Thing, so I'm like at an angle instead. Right you, it wouldn't have cover. You'd still have disadvantage. And if you rolled a nat one, you'd still end up hitting Forte. Go, go stab, go stab, me, stab it legs. with your, with, with a, with a b arrow. Like, go can I provide the arrow? Can I provide? Stab it. Can I please provide a tutorial as to what to do? Sure. It'll be in the form of an image. <laughs> I know exactly what image. Do you expect send. me to like kick it or some shit? Oh, you do expect me to go. kick it. Yes. <laughs> There we go. I saw that image coming a mile away. Okay. Uh, there's a good old Jojo Okay. Meme. So, at the risk of not being able to stab, I kind of just, like, go here and just, like, kick. But what with, like, kick? with, right, like, roll, the base of my foot. A, now with my toe. Roll a straight a, a strength check. With advantage. <laughs> with advantage. There we go. What's your strength? Uh, negative one. It's a negative one. <laughs> oh, please tell me it heals. Uh, well, did I, did I kick it to death? No. Oh, oh the I nat guess. twenty. With the nat twenty, you actually did a full point of damage, or you would if it didn't resist bludgeoning. Well, what was it supposed to do? I can't shoot of damage. It. Come on. <laughs> Give the one damage. No, because it... So, she technically would have done two damage, but because her strength's negative one, she would have done one damage from the crit, but it resists the bludgeoning. Let's give the goal of damage. Forte. Forte, I am going to shoot you with my arrows after this, I swear to God. Can I please just do this for experience? Forte, sake? please be inspired. No, Wait, this first, is your own punishment. First. First things first. Okay, that's one damage. <laughs> that hits. That's six damage. It's starting to show quite a few cracks. Oh god. <laughs> Veseran! You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna move right here and I'm gonna stomp on it. Only a strength <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> it sounds good. God, everything they this town thinks of the army is just being proven true here. That like hits. Stomp, stomp. What's your strength? Zero. <laughs> you do zero damage. 
Sweet. The gargoyle is going to, <laughs> at disadvantage, swipe at Vesrin. Both of which miss. Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. It gets one more attack. Also misses. Yeah. Leroy. I want this... I want this goddamn sword to do damage. Yep, never mind. You attempt to stab it and it bounces off. <laughs> Galthuk! Yeah, never mind. Galthuk, you have the ability to end the suffering. No, 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 no. Stop uh... it. Stomp I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna stomp it. Jump like you're, on the, body. you're the only one here that does not have bludgeoning, piercing, or wait, slashing damage. Wait, doesn't my, uh, doesn't my, uh, your spiritual weapon can end this all? Please. All right, yeah, no, let's. No, no. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're just gonna. I don't, dude, I don't get to kill enough things in this game. All right, all right. I'm a <laughs> fucking cleric. I heal people. <laughs> Roll with a different advantage. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord! Roll damage. One, blow, 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 blow. How do you want to do this? Yeah. As it arcs up and comes straight down on the 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 head of the the hammer, it just shatters its its face. That's it. And you just see the the lifeless arms just fall to the ground. You're in a clink. The arms that had been scrambling and attempting to slash and claw suddenly go limp as the creature's head is shattered. And within your arms, Forte, it begins to fall to pieces. I slam it into the ground again. It explodes into dust. All of you begin coughing. I need you to make constitution saving throws. Oh no, silicosis. Oh, of course, you're fine. <laughs> Happy, you take one piercing damage as... I would take piercing damage from dust. Because the dust... Piercing your lungs. Yeah, the stone dust gets in your lungs and pierces. <laughs> hey, you stabbed me. <laughs> and with that, that, uh, that room is clear. What would you all like to do? I'd like to search it. Make an hey, investigation check. I'm going straight for the upper table. Oh, okay, you go for the upper one, I'll go for this one right here. Actually, I'm going to take a breather. You're going to take a short rest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to play Song of Rest for everyone with my other instrument. Thank you, Vesrin. Do you have two bagpipes? So Galfoka <laughs> is the only one doing an investigation check right now. Afi, are you investigating or are you resting? Um, How much I... is this one? It's gonna be like a short rest, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, let me. Uh, well, I go and I take my, I pick up my weapons again, uh, and. The plus three. Awesome. I'll take a short rest, actually. Okay. I'll heal up a little bit. I did almost it seems like twice. So, Galthuk, as you search that area up there. I'm going to send you what you find. It's up to your choice. It's up to you whether or not you want to share it. Oh, oh we, should play, we should play F. We should pay our respects to the bagpipes that got this. Check out this bottom table. See if there's anything there. You can't. You're doing your short rest right now. Oh, it's real time. Fine. Until Galfuck decides what he's doing with what he found. Tell Galfuck I want to investigate this. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put that put that all on me. I'm gonna grab hold of it and kind of bring it over to the group. Okay, Gareth will choose the share. He found an odd looking blue potion, a, another healing potion, a fancy looking dagger with some odd carvings on it. Ooh, Can eight we read gold, the carvings? twelve silver, fifteen oh. copper, and a bottle of ink. That dagger oh, works well. For certain someone. Me? What was the last thing you said about a what? Ink. Okay. I'd be interested in that odd looking blue bottle if you're interested. Uh yeah, for sure. Here you go. I hand it to him. Uh, you um, know, I think this dagger would probably pr be pretty nice for you. I, I believe it should be like a finesse. Your, Is it like uh, a throwing dagger or another like stabby stabby dagger? It's a stabby stabby dagger. Daggers can do both. Oh yeah, and you can throw them. So you may not want to. You may not want to throw that one though. <clears throat> In case if I break it. In case it might be something special, you might want to look into it. Have it identified or hmm. something. Can anybody okay, identify so here? I have. I can't identify. Two um, daggers. I'm pushing the Narcana, so maybe I can get a glimpse yeah, of if it's magical. DM got You gotta ask the DM. Make an arcana check. Me? Yeah. No, Vesrin. Vesrin, these definitely seem like arcane runic symbols carved into it. You are fairly certain that this is magical in some way. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Whether it's good or I bad, I don't that know it yet. Is magical. I don't know what its effects are per se, but. Would it kill me if I used it? Possibly. So best to hold off on using it. It's obviously a dagger of summon living carpets. <laughs> Fuck carpets. Pretty good weapon to have. I am the carpet lord. Yeah, by we'll way. save it for another day. During the short rest. During the short rest, by the way. Hey, pals. We're all friends here, right? Mind if I mm -hmm. take off this armor? Go for it. Go for it. As I basically strip because my armor's hot as fuck. You see the skin underneath is red and blistered with some blackened marks on there. As I'm basically just in my undergarments, just chilling and letting my legs and skin breathe. Cool like air for once feels something? very good. I mean, it's freezing out. Good point. You're underground in, in a winter area. Yeah, I'm using this for flavor. If uh, if you guys aren't uh, so the gold, the copper, I'd I, I'd like to donate Let's it back. I, I hold on, hold hold on, real quick, okay? I was thinking that we could just give it to you and have you have it. We notice how you've been helping us out, buying us drinks and such. Would be good to return the favor. Yeah, we can give it. We can give it to the locals here. They need it more than I do. Or you can keep it for the next time that you see locals and you think, "Oh, let me just throw all my money on them." So you can take it. You buy yourself yeah, you guys, some clout. You guys, you guys are hired help. You guys are hired help. You got to pay yourselves too. I'm fine. Anybody have any problems with this? Separate from my, my paycheck, go for it. Oh, we hand it over to Forte then. All right. You're taking um, it. Take it like I a guess, man. I guess I got the money. All right, and, drinks are on me. Uh, does, uh, does anybody else look like pretty bad? Like, uh, like, am I looking at like everybody in comparative to myself right now? Which I'm not looking. I on your breast. Anyone who's healing, please add three. I say this for the third time now. Yep. Right, but yeah. uh, I I investigated. Do I still get my short rest? You do not. You would have spent that time investigating. Yeah. So. Um. Uh, why, I, why don't you drink one of, that, one of those healing potions? That's what I was gonna ask. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's one d six, right? Or is it one d eight? Uh, a normal healing potion is 2d4 plus 2. Mm-hmm. 
So, Doc, do I know the blue, what the blue potion is that I got? You have no idea. Seven. I dare you to oh. drink it. Could I look at it and see if I would know what it is with my arcana proficiency? Do you have any experience in alchemical? I mean, I have, I have, I have, I have, uh, uh, or I have experience in herbs, which are sometimes used in potions. I am you proficient. Would not know this. I'm in proficient in medicine. I'm also is that a possibility? Same. Same. No, you would need to specifically be proficient with alchemical supplies. Okay. Proficient in brewing drinks, does that count? N no. <laughs> You're fairly certain this is not an alcoholic drink. I'm proficient in the common language. Can I talk to it? You can guys, try. guys, guys, I have I a just, solution to this. I have the solution to our problem. It. I have the solution to our problem. Look at... There you go. <laughs> As I'm completely naked, by the way, basically. <laughs> just in my undergarments. <laughs> Guys. Okay. All right. Um, there you oh. go. What are you? All there going you go. To hope, hope that helped. So he did song of healing. Does that count towards me healing with the potion? Only if you roll. Nope. Only if you rolled hit dice. All right. How are you? I with that shot. I I'm, I'm looking better now, but like I was just saying, top it off, top my uh, my soul off. I'll be, I'll be fine. I basically I'll be fine. my armor, and I'm like, if you, if you go to my bag and like the bottom left pocket, it's got the healing potion from the other room if you want it. Ah, no, I should be fine. I should be fine. All right. So, do we want to start moving forward, or? Yeah, I'm gonna start getting dressed. Well, this room is clear. Let's so do, forward. boys. Oh, Afi, uh, you might want this. Then I, I'm over there by the uh, by the weapons that she dropped, or he dropped. Just keep the extra dagger with me. Yeah, put it in add, your bag. Uh, but add magic dagger. Yeah. You don't know what it does, but it's a magic dagger. Okay. And then I'm uh, gonna keep my rapier out. All right. Okay. So, where are you guys going? I think we should skip the room with the imps, possibly, and go straight into that magical room. Maybe we can blockade us so the imps don't flank us. That sounds good. Agreed. It's pretty obvious. However, it seems pretty clear. We should probably go into that room to get information from it. Hmm? Always a chance we'd find something. We should go in where, Faster? I'm sorry. The room with the imps. Eventually, at least. Could potentially have the. Key. We're all we are all getting we're all getting pretty drained, and we still gotta f catch this guy. Let's try to. Be, uh, I look at Galfuck. Hey Galfuck, let's barricade the door so they can't find it. They can't chase us. All right, and then uh, so this uh, what kind of uh, like us to check? What are you using to barricade? We're gonna grab. Yeah. Might as well just grab these tables. I would need Galfuck and Forte to both make strength checks. Yeah, I think you may wanna <clears throat> you wanna see if your your friend up there could help you. Uh yeah, yeah. Let me uh let me go ahead and guidance on myself. And As you both pick up the table, Galfuck, you immediately drop it on your foot. Oh, shit! Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Try this again. I'm gonna right, come good. over, and uh, this time give Galfuck just a little bit of assistance. So, we're okay. both, I'm lifting one side of it. Alright, let's go. I need all three of you to make strength checks. Oh, my burns. Ow. Alright. 
Uh, uh, I got a better hold of it this time. All of you attempt to lift it. Galthuk putting more strength into it than before, and flipping the table over onto Forte. Shit! Well... Okay, Forte, right, you take one bludgeoning damage as the table I'm... shatters onto you. I blame my oh, friends. That's why... That's why we have another table. Let's try this again, boys. <laughs> All right. Table take two. I think. I think. Uh, is like, furniture is just not this party's forte, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking. Hold God. on, I get a four. D four. You got guidance. Yeah. This time. We just can't even uh, get off the ground. This time, all of you attempt to pick it up. You go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I feel like we should all get advantage on this. We're all working together. There are four <laughs> people on this one table. <laughs> oh, no, no there, there's a DC that all of you together have to match. All right, let's just put the globe in there. <laughs> no, no, boys. One more time with the table. Come on. Last time. I believe in the table. All right, all right, all right. Just I'm, I'm going to cast it on me again. Oh, so, uh, Jay, Leroy, it's strength check, not a strength yeah. save. Just for the future. No problem. Right, I'm putting my heart into it. Lifting with my quads. Let's do it, boys. No. <laughs> well, Wait, Leroy and I may have it. I'm just laughing at you for it. Oh, I'm you. not even going to try. Nope. I'm just going to laugh. Well, immediately, Galthic and Vesterin, you feel your arms collapse underneath you and you fall to the ground as Forte and Leroy casually, suddenly, the table feels much lighter. And you just move it over. You casually move it into the other room, blockading. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, uh, that's uh, all thanks for me. Well, while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and draw it. Man, <laughs> I'll go ahead and draw it for you guys. I'll put it on its side. They ain't coming through this way. <laughs> can we put the globe on top of it? Yes. You can. I would like to do so. Okay. <laughs> Can I put the whatever corpse of my former bagpipes on the t on it as well? You could put the ashes, yes. Yes. Because there's not much left after that. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Can we put fire underneath it and suffocate it out while we hold the door closed? Wow, I sound I really, really bad. Catch on fire. I'm down for this idea. <laughs> I like it. I like. I like. What this are the, idea. Maybe what are the fire on setting Other things on fire. If what they are made uh, of fire. If they are made of fire, then they will die of suffocation because they need oxygen in order to burn. No, we're going to die of suffocation True. because we're going to set the whole thing on fire. Oh, we're not setting the whole thing on fire. We're pushing the fire underneath. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then the door will catch fire, and the walls, and the carpets that load you so much. Oh, the and then smoke. We will burn to death. And the fire. Ooh. Is this a wooden table and is that a wooden door? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Besides, the creature that I saw when I peeked in there looks like it's made of smoke. So I think that would probably be an even worse idea than you think. Because I don't think it would smother, I think it would just make it stronger. I know what'll make everyone happy. I know what'll make everyone happy. As I, I go to the corpse of the carpets. As I go to the corpses of the carpets and just put it all over the table. Now that it's was... a message. Okay. <laughs> now, now it's a message. We can, Artistic, we can. I like it. I was thinking we could take the carpets to have the smoke enter into the room by starting the small fire. The creature I saw was made of smoke. We could use the carpets. Else. Carpets burn like mad. The creature <laughs> I saw was made of smoke. I don't think smothering it in smoke would work. Could make it bigger, so we can see it easier. I'm just kidding. I turned to Forte and just like, please help me. Please help me. It is literally made of smoke, though. That's what I saw. At this point, Forte is just in the other room. <laughs> All right, we're we're walking off. Okay. I just mutter "bruh" under my breath and follow them. All right. We have any way? <clears throat> Sorry. Do we have any way of dealing with this? Of the magic. Know that there's two points over there. That board 
And that door. There are a lot of possible foes. We saw the way that look those two gargoyles in the last room changed. And there are a lot going across the way. What I saw when I was peeking past Affy. All right. As I crack my knuckles, let the bait go through. I, uh, I get a as he walks past, plan? yeah, as he walks past, I, uh, I tap on the shoulder and I said, Morden's life be with you. I cast guidance on him. Anyone else casting anything on me? I got nothing at the moment. I give you a thumbs up. Are you going to go funny. in the corner stealthy? Actually, wait, did I cast? Uh, oh, yeah, I did. I can't do it again. Okay. All right. As I walk through. What do I see? As you walk through, you see a large, empty room that seems to be lined with statues looking similar to the gargoyles you fought, and a number of armor stands. I didn't hide that, right? I revealed it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> to the north, you see a very large carpet covering a majority of the floor. And to the south, two doors with another carpet over them. Oh, yeah. Well, Were the carpets, did they ping of magic? No, they, they did not. not. How much does Gothic trust that? I, I Gothic, would... How much do you trust that the carpets are not magical? Since I, uh... Since it's technically unknown to me of whether or not they would have a magic essence, I did cast, uh... The ability to see magic, and I did not see any presence of magic with. So I would right. say I am eighty percent sure that they're not going to be back. I also uh, inform the party to clear the doorway, so we can funnel them in if anything. Then I step back. All right, I will proceed to move forward. Here now. Anything happening with the statues? Nope. Proceed to move forward here. Anything with the statues? Nothing. You notice anything? Proceed to move over here. Nothing happening with the statues, but you do see something written on the board. Mm-hmm. What do I see? You see what appears to be a riddle. Um. Oh, you sent me. Private line, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's still nothing here, right? <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> so who's speaking through the door and watching me? It Leroy. looks like Leroy. Alright, I beckon Leroy over. Cool. So you can see the riddle to... as well. I'm going to say this very specifically. I'm going to say to Galthok, who's directly behind me, stay here, keep the keep eyeing the door. All right. As I go right here. All right. And then I, uh, I step up one right here. So I'm still leaving this part of the door open. And I, I do walk back to Galthok while you investigate the sign. I tell him what I read, what I read. So oh. he can give it to the rest of the party. I have riddle now in the notes. Yeah, basically just so we all know. Can you all see the door riddle? Breathe without lungs. I eat without a mouth. I am not living, yet I die out. I am life. I am death. Terrifying. What am I? Fire. Many of those riddles. Yeah, it sounds like fire. Sounds yeah, like fire. Fun. So, so we lighting this big carpet on fire? <laughs> Open the door. I don't know. I, I mean, at this point, I, I, I think it's safe to come in. I, I ask Leroy and Galthak or Investment, who are our magic specialists. I refer to them to their judgment. Um, I can't more. see anything at this moment. I'm kind of. Uh... 
I think I've overutilized my abilities today. Uh, now without some sort of a rest to, to get my guidance and understanding back from Morden. Um, I just look at 14 and say, bro, I play the instrument. Okay, best one. I'll take a look. And... Also, I'd like to examine the statue. After best friend tells me what he thinks, I want to examine the statues. I will join Forte on that. And just to confirm, this was a question on the riddle, correct? Or anything in general? Anything in general? Yeah, either the uh, the riddle or like these guys off. Or the door, or the carpets. Carpet. Where did you send this magical presence from? From here, and the door itself. Yeah. Not the carpet. Uh, so just the uh, the magic board and the door. Okay. But the statues are vague, right? Okay. The statues I had, I could, I was too far away. I couldn't. I will look at the board and see if there's anything that we recognize, other than the rail. Just looking at the board itself. You're looking at the board. Yeah. The board simply has that one riddle there. Okay. I'll shift my attention to the door. The door appears to be stone with a number of carvings on it. Would I understand or recognize any of those? Make an arcana check. Okay. Well, I'll open that. All right. I don't think I have anything to offer here. You said there's runes in the door? I wonder, do there yep. runes in the door? Um, oh. Long shot, but are they giant? They do not appear to be giant. Okay. No. Question. So the runes on the door, do they look like they match the carvings in the dagger that I now possess? They do not. But wow. they do appear to match the runes surrounding the perimeter of the board. Oh. Of the door? The, door, door, the door runes match the board. Mm -hmm. Is there another puzzle? We shoot it with fire. Okay. But do we shoot the board or the door? I mean, do, do we shoot the board or is there like something we can put on, place on it? Does, or like write something on it? Is there a mantelpiece or anything close by, like on the board or on the there door? There does not appear to be. Just the four runes. So if, five. if looking at this, do we see any kind of scorch marks currently on either the board or the door? You do not. What about anywhere in like the surrounding like cornerstone cornerstones of the door or something, or like the the floor just in front? You don't see anything. Do any of the statues seem to be ha having their hands open up, open in front or something like that? Like they nope. would hold torches? Nope. Can you explain I to us so what we see on this board other than I, just can I, the words? You see the riddle and four runes, one in each corner, that seem to match the runes on the door. Can I pick up and check underneath the carpet? <clears throat> you can. I would it like to stone. just. The carpet is stone? No, there was there, stone floor under carpet. But there's like nothing there. No. But what about the big carpet in the middle of the room? That's also oddly suspicious. Uh, you gonna check under there as well? You think maybe we should throw like a match at it and set these carpets on fire? I no, set no. I, I would I, I would think so. that these runes have something to do with it, and we need to look at it. Do the runes remind us of anything, like elements, or do they remind us of, like, I wish we had a picture of what the runes look like, if it has anything to pertain to this. Um, it is nothing that any of you recognize. Hmm. I would still want to pull away the large carpet. 
Does it look like there's torches anywhere? There does not appear to be. Beyond, I mean, there's the there's a couple of torches on the walls just lighting up the room, but they appear to be generally just in place, not easily removable. All right, I'm going to investigate the statues because I, I said I was going to do that. Yeah, I'm, so I'm going to aid. So you guys are going to walk onto the carpet and check out the statues? Carpet, no. Here. No. Yep. Agreed. Ah. All right. You examine them. They appear to be decently well-crafted armor stands with armor on them. The armor appears as you seem to grip at it and pull slightly to stick together. Is it a uh, is it half plate? Uh, it does appear to be. Does it fit me? Does it look like? <laughs> I was about to ask. <laughs> It doesn't look like it would fit either of you. It doesn't look like it fit me. <laughs> it definitely does not look like it would fit you. <laughs> so I it's smaller armor. I, I, can I, like, take the helmet off it or anything? You attempt to, and it seems to be stuck. What's the material? Can I tell that? You cannot. Can I knock on it? But Galfuck might be able to. Okay. I... I... Just avoid the carpet. I, I avoid the carpet. Can we right. the carpet? Make an intelligence check with advantage. You are fairly certain these are made of steel. Can I pry a helmet off and take it? You can try, but it doesn't seem to be moving at all. Can I shoot the carpets to ensure that they're not going to attack us at any point? You can try. Don't do it. It's a trap. I'm just going to immediately... I do think we have to set the carpet on fire. I'm I'm feeling a little sketch still. It is a suspiciously large carpet. I want to set on fire. Yeah, stop me from setting it in place. Hold on, hold on. Can I I hit this one with... uh, Just... Just just to kind of make sure. With With a firebolt. You can. That's a dodge I'm, action. I okay. Yeah, you guys get set up. I'm gonna try to hit this one with the firebolt yeah. from here. I'm taking the it's dodge gonna, action. I'm taking the dodge like action. I'm kind of waiting by the door to run. Yeah, I'm behind saying. Forte. Roll an attack. Okay. Natural twenty. Roll damage. Oh, why did it do As that? you fire at the carpet, you see one of the runes on the board glows for a moment, a deep crimson red, and you hear, uh, as suddenly, Galthuk, you, not Galthuk, I'm sorry, Forte, you, like the and JJ, so, both hear movement behind you. As four of these pieces of armor all come out and attempt to attack you. You took the do- Galtha does. Okay, now, so. Those hit. JJ does a 15 hit. Uh, give me a moment. Oh god, I hope not. These fucking uh, carpets. Remind me, is it make uh if it matches it, it's what? Beats it, beats it. it. Alright. You take four bludgeoning. As the four animated armors come to life, I need everyone to roll initiative. God damn it. Oh shit, two nat 20s on a freaking initiative, that's great. Forte, you're up. To be fair, we did take the dodge action. You did. <laughs> Wait, who has the higher dex? Me? I have two. Oh, I we're tied. You. I'm gonna say you. In this case. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. 
the ones next to Leroy are a bigger threat. Would I be able to like grapple Leroy and throw and like throw him? I How wouldn't say really no. Hmm? I'm gonna say no, considering Which... what he is. Okay. I can't just pick it. Okay, I can't shove him. Okay, so in that case, I will punch the one in front of Leroy. Okay. You do the punch. As you punch into it, your fist bounces off the steel. Damn. So that I take that as a miss. You do have Bardic Inspiration. Uh, yeah. That would have that expired by now. It would have expired. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Wait, wait, but mine wouldn't have expired. He hadn't used it yet. Yours would have expired because of the short rest. No, he gave it guidance before he came in. Guidance before he came in. Guidance mm. worked, but not Bardic Inspiration. I'll roll it. Damn. Does guidance work on attacks? I um, don't know. No, I believe it only works on ability checks. I mean, an ability to maybe I, I, to I, hit? I, I would checks. not know. It's only ability checks. Is that your turn, Forte? Forte? I will <laughs> play the role of bait and step away. As you do, three of them are going to attempt to slam you. That's the point. Uh, only one of them hits, dealing seven bludgeoning. Ow, that is hard. Ah. As I... That's five. Go here. Okay. Leroy. Does that mean three of them are following him? Three of them... That means three of them can't... That means three of them... Two of them can't attack you. Well, three of them can't. Well, oh, yeah, one, three of, one of them's out of... One of them's out of range from anyway. Yeah, but that one was out of range of you, so... Exactly. I'm saying two of them can't do it. Yeah. These, yeah. these two. That's why I'm, I'm bait. Do I take the... And I'll also, I hope... Like, I'm just gesturing, like, this way, to the door. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I need to take the attack of opportunity. Get the bucket. You you could dash or disengage. Even if I dash, no, isn't there still an attack of opportunity? Not if you Guys. disengage. But I already took three of them, so you might it might be just be better to. I don't know what your health is. I can take a hit if necessary, so I'm just going to play the dash card and, and just make a straight book for it. So that gives me sixty feet of movement, right? Mm-hmm. And it misses. Yeah. You attempt to, as you run. Yeah, I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna book it. Okay. I'm going to be specifically here. Galfuck, you up? All right, I'm yeah. gonna take a. I'm gonna run this direction, and I stop right there, because that's fifty feet. The carpet. Well, the carpet was fine, okay. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, the carpet. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find yeah. out. Yaffy. Yeah, it must have been fine. Um... <laughs> so, do these suits of armor look? Like, they can be penetrated in any way, shape, or form by an arrow. Yes, but they'd certainly be hard to penetrate. Uh -huh. I'm just going to gesture to Alfie, who's right next to me, and say, let's funnel them through the hallway first. Got it. Alright, so, instead, I... Well, I have my bow and arrow, right, but instead of shooting, I just kind of, like, move through the hall, like, over... Here? Here's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not want to. Oh, yeah. Maybe not block the. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Here. Um. Better. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh. Uh. Move. You have heat metal. We win. <laughs> Do I have heat metal? 
No, I didn't prepare it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, it'll be slow, but we'll do it. (laughs) Alright. That's Moonbeam. Yeah, draw the thing. That would be promising, too. But that's a setup. Bam. We can. We can choke him here. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why I said Moonbeam would mm-hmm. be promising. Okay. Is that your turn? Okay. Uh, does it look like any of them took a hit? Uh, it looks like the one up here took a bit more than the one down here, since they both got hit by Moonbeam. Okay. Um. I. I'm going to. Yeah, I didn't mean to draw that. Okay. I'm gonna move right here, right next to the door. And that's it. Okay. All four suits of armor suddenly go into full-on sprint mode. They had started their turn there, by the way, so I get a roll moonbeam damage again. Mm-hmm. No. They both need to make cons. Which they both make. F damage. Which is still damage. Mm-hmm. And that is their turn. Hmm. I... If I stand here, would I be able to scoot over to let my allies go through? Yes. And what about here? Would they be able to go through the door? Not really. Okay. I will disengage and move here. Okay. Um. I look over at Galfuck and I'm like, I I need, I need you to cast some sort of shield on me. As my bonus action, I second wind. Be boy. So, one of the runes lit up when Galthic lost fire to the small carpet, right? As yep. a mistake. But it seems to have gone out now. Say again, Forte? The rune appears to have gone out now. Oh, okay. okay. So that was a mistake. I mean, yeah, just keep going through the door. We got our plan. Mm, fine. <sighs> we'll cheap him out. It's okay. In that case, what can I do to fight in the blows? Just to make sure, uh, Vesterman, can you move that moonbeam? Yep. Perfect. Okay. I don't suppose I can drag someone with me as I walk out the door. You wouldn't have enough movement. I'm difficult terrain. I would have enough movement, that's why I'm saying it. You'd be at 4x movement. One. So once you grabbed hold of them, you would be at half movement, and then once you try to go to the difficult terrain, it'd be another half to that half. I think. Yeah, fair. Right. Fair, fair, fine. I see it. Anyway. Uh, the pass through... Just get behind me. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. As long as, as, long as I get a certain... As long as uh, Galpox gives me faith, has faith in me, we'll be fine. I'm, mo- I'm moving into the hallway, and as I've been doing so, Forte? You're going to get inspired again. Hey. Thanks, Val. That's my turn. 
Okay. Galthok. I grab a, I grab a piece of, uh, of parchment from my pouch and I slap it onto his, onto his back shoulder blade, and I cast a uh, shield of faith as he glows a a vibrant goldish hue. Wait, can't I do that at a higher level? It, it's, oh, let me see. You don't, you don't get any benefit out of it. Yeah. Okay, well I have to do it at a higher level. Okay, yeah. so good. That's a different story. Yeah. Sweet. Alright. Team. Awesome, thank you. And then, uh... That, I should be able to... No, I don't have any bonus actions that I can cast, can I? Because that would be an action. Okay, so I'll just use my movement to get out of here. And station this, looking for like a, I don't know, an L shape, an L shape to kind of like block them, so we have to take them on one at a time. And they can't make it around us. As long as the veteran goes here, we should be good. Yeah, the L shape. The L shape. Okay. Affy, yep. you're up. Move the okay. beam. All right. Um, I kind of move over here-ish. Here's good. Sure. Yeah, and I still have my bow and arrow out in, on the off chance that I would need to snipe something, but I don't shoot yet. I kind of wait and see. Are you holding your shooting action so that so, what's going to prep it? Also, yes. Leroy should move or as well. It. Let's make sure this is a single door, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. From here, the bottom where I'm standing. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, I can shoot over your head if if necessary. Please, just be careful. Okay. You're a large person. I'm going to use as my meat shield. That's fine. Just don't shoot me in the and back of the head. Through the head would, uh, I'm not going to shoot you damage. in the head again. I made that mistake only... That was only once, okay? I've grown, I've matured. I'm a new Affy. Okay. Fast one. Alright, I'm gonna use my bonus action to slam this bitch right here. Oh, I'm gonna roll that damage real quick. Nice. Both of them pass. Alright. And I'm gonna... Scootily dupe right through. That's if you have more movement, try to get further in. I'll take it. a dodge action to, to just be safe. Oh, armors. Okay. Five years old anyway. Uh, I, five, 10, 15. Ooh, how's this going to work? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Don't worry about it. I'm tougher than I look. One passes, one fails. Uh, not worried about that. I'm worried about how we're gonna hit them with all with like full cover to one of them, and then. Nope, no, there's don't worry about it. Okay. This is the lamest strategy you've ever seen. And then all three of them that can get to you are going to come to slam. You take four bludgeoning first. With a twenty. Okay. And that is all. Okay. All right. Are you ready for the lame strat? Oh yeah. Oh, let's see. I will. Do I take the attack opportunity? I do not. I will. Main action disengage. Move over here. And then proceed to action surge. And take the dodge action. Okay. And this is how we win. <laughs> Leroy. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to scoot 
just has the alpha to be right here. Give me okay, that's better. More space. And I'm going to take the dodge action just to be safe. Okay. Log in. Galfuck. All right, I will test. Mm, let's see. I will ready a space for people I... who want to try dodging. What's no, that? I'll, uh, I, I'll be fine. You right. you don't need space to dodge. You don't need space to dodge. You stand still. It's just you're more alert, basically, and stay at disadvantage. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ready a, an attack uh, with my with my warhammer, so that if if you leave this space and any of those enter the space that you're in right now, Forte, I'm gonna hit him. Sounds good. Okay. Affy. So I don't necessarily so I don't necessarily move, but I do still ready an arrow in the off chance that if I have to, I would shoot one in the head. And I... Wait. If I ready the arrow, can I also take dodge as a bonus action? No. One or the other. Alright, so then I... Just... I just ready the arrow. Uh, to shoot between both Professor and Zane. And Jim, heads. I'm, I'm just fine. no. I'm gonna shoot over their heads. Jim, quick question. Um, if I have to, is there getting a disadvantage when shooting into combat, like with multiple parties, or no? Or are you are you playing that role? It's it's a optional rule where like there is disadvantage on somebody shooting into into battle or into fights from direct behind, like directly behind somebody. I didn't know if you were playing that or not. I'm just curious. Uh, it's just if they roll low enough, they may hit an ally. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. There's literally no reason to shoot. That's one. Just in case. Alright, we're gonna... I'm gonna slap this right here. There we go. Yep. And now we play the waiting games. Cool and... damage. It's coming, it's coming. One of them fails, the other two pass. All right, and do I have sight on this spot right here? Not so. No, the door's clearly. closed. The door's closed. I don't think anybody. No, no, the we door. left that. We left that door open. Oh, the door's open, but <laughs> there's, there's, be there's, there's a lot of people between you and that right. spot. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Would I be able to see this one? Sort of. Enough to put something there? Yes. Okay. I'm going to summon the cat. Right there. Okay. Roll damage. Okay. Is that your turn? All right. And then... Wait, were you able to do that? Isn't that two bonus actions? And cast fire. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, no, Vestwin, Vestwin. Isn't moving the moonbeam a bonus action? For an extra D6. But if it's a 14. Does he have you on mute? can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. I guess. I can hear you. I can hear you. Hear I can hear you. Plus my proficiency. Hear you. Hello, Kiri? Okay, no, no, no. I never mind. Never mind. It is an action. I had to. I just double checked. Okay. I wish you could hear me, but does Gary have you muted? I think he may have deafened himself accidentally. No, at least not on this one. Gary, <laughs> are you with us? <laughs> Thank you.
Can you hear us now, Kiri? Kiri? Kiri, Kiri. Kiri? We can hear him, I think. We you were able to hear him. Is that what he said? Hmm? Oh, I, I was wondering if he messaged back anybody. I messaged him. Can you hear? He's there. Oh, internet Discord Bork. Well then. Hello. Hello. Bork. There. Can you hear me now? Ultra technical difficulties. <sighs> Should we change? Let's let's change to the other VC. I don't. But... Gary, can you hear us? Gary. 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 God damn it, he was able to hear us in FFRPG eventually, too. <laughs> I think. I got it. I got it. Let's push. Do this. All right, so, yeah, Kiri, what are you doing? Uh, okay, I'm casting fiery teleportation. Okay. So that roll, that three plus two is, so it's five damage of rage. And we all see, can we they all, all succeed? Something? Yes. Okay, sweet. For Where's whatever reason, it's letting me heard well for a moment right there. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Here, can I, I hear you? you passed yeah, I can hear you guys. The Discord okay. bork to me. Milan, can you not hear us? I could, Milan? but you sounded like hell. Okay. Yeah. Probably a server outage on their end. Probably. Where are you teleporting, Kiri? That's gonna be a meat shield, boys. No, 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 no. no. no, no, no. no. Too Don't late. Do oh, no, it's already okay. been done. So, no. uh, as soon as the cat appeared, all the soldiers turned immediately to it. And then turned directly as it appeared. Does a 13 hit it? Uh... Yes. Yes. So, I assume a 15, so that's 11 bludgeoning. Okay. Is it still up? Yeah. Does a 17 hit? Yeah. Yes. That's another 11 bludgeoning. Sweet, it's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the and most dull. As bad. soon as it disappears, all the soldiers seem to suddenly collapse, and their armor is pulled directly back. Fascinating and concerning. To the armor stands. And with that, we will end tonight's session. Attack of opportunity? Mm, they, not voluntary movement. Hmm? Did they retreat from the fire? No, they retreated from the rune. Yeah. <laughs> and the rune probably went out. Did we notice before we edit, did we notice the rune went out or out early. The rune went out after you had fired. It seems whatever you did was slightly incorrect. So with that, we will end tonight's session because it is 12.06. Go for another two hours. Yeah. And I have work tomorrow. Fair. All in so your I got, hope you guys had fun. We did. It was. It's good. Please sure. fill out the survey, and next time we may or may not finish this dungeon. Mm -hmm. nah, or everyone might die. We're not gonna die. I still have the power to party wipe us. We're not going to die. I was thinking of casting fire from the doorway.
Wait a sec, yeah, wait, hold on. Would do, if we just test things from over here, can like they'll come out, right? If we're wrong, but they'll just go back if we just chill here? Yep, basically. Let's, let's ponder this. Let's, becomes the cheese. Let's let's ponder this for next week, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that my yep I hope you guys had a f good time this week and I will see you all next week yeah, take care